Okay, so I wanted to go over how to factor a trinomial when the leading coefficient is not 1 and there is no greatest common factor. So I call this the slide and divide method. Um, so there's a mnemonic device that you can use, which is uh, Swedish fish don't really swim. So if you know those uh, little red candy fish, that's why we say they don't swim. <laughs> so S stands for slide, F stands for factor, D stands for divide, R stands for reduce, S stands for swing. So here are some examples that we're going to go through and do these problems. So for the first one, we have 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So the first thing that you want to do is we slide. So we take the front number and we slide and multiply it by the last number. So when you do that, you now have the new equation, x squared minus 12x, and then 9 times 4 is 36, so plus 36. Now that we have this new equation, we know how to factor it um, because we factored trinomials before. So since it has three terms, you set up your two set of parentheses. And then, of course, we know the first term has to be x, and this has to be x because x times x would give you x squared. So then you now have to figure out factors of 36 that are going to add up to a negative 12. So you have different sign options. You could either have both be plus here and here, both negative, or they could be opposite signs. So in this case, I know that my signs have to both be negative because a negative number times a negative number would give you a positive number here, and then the negative plus another negative number gives you a negative middle term. So in this case, now we have to say, what are factors of 36 that add up to negative 12? Well, in this case, I know factors of 36 that add to negative 12 are going to be 6 and 6. So negative 6 times negative 6 gives you positive 36, and negative 6 plus negative 6 gives you negative 12. Now we're not done because we did the slide, we factored, now we have to divide. So what do you divide by? You divide by the number you originally split in the um, first step. So divide each of these by 4. Now that we've divided them by 4, the next step is to reduce, and you're reducing your fractions that we just made. So four over or six over four reduces into three over two. So now we have x minus three over two, and this is also x minus three over two. And we're still not done because we don't want to leave our numbers as fractions because um, originally, if you look, if you were to multiply this out, it would not give you the original problem. So the f stands for swing. You take these numbers that are in your denominator and you swing them in front of whatever your variable, and in this case it's uh, x. So this then becomes 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. And this is, can also be written as 2x minus 3 all squared. So this right here is your completely factored solution. Now, we can also check this solution by um, foiling or using the box method is what I like to use. So if we come over here to this side, if I check this, I'm going to go ahead and use the box method because that's what my students have an easier time using. So for this box method, I have 2 and then x minus 3, and 2x minus 3, so 2x times 2x gives you 4x squared, 2x times negative 3 gives you negative 6x, negative 3 times 2x gives you negative 6x, negative 3 times negative 3 gives you a positive 9, then we have like terms right here that we're going to combine, so this becomes 4x squared minus 6x and minus 6x is minus 12x, plus 9, and that checks out. So notice that that equals our original um, problem that we had over here, so that means we factored correctly. Okay, so let's do another example, which I have on the other side here. So we are going to do the same thing. So take your first number and slide it to the last number and multiply. 
So now we have the 6 times the negative 12. And then when you do that, you're going to rewrite your equation. And actually, let's not make this negative 12. Let's make this a 2. So sorry about that. So let's start off with um, 6n squared minus 11n minus 2 instead. Make it a smaller number to multiply. So for this um, new equation that we have, I'm going to take again the 6, multiply it by the 2 here, and rewrite my equation. So that would slide. Now we have n squared minus 11n minus 12. Now I have to factor my equation. So I set up my two sets of parentheses. I know this has to be n and this has to be n. Then I have to ask myself, what are the signs that are going to be that I'm going to use? Are they both plus? No, because this is a minus and this is a minus. Can they both be negative signs here and here? No, because if they were both negative, then you would have a negative number times a negative number does not give you a negative number here. So that means one has to be plus and one has to be minus. Now, does it matter where you put the plus and minus? No. So now we need factors of negative 12 that add up to a negative 11. So the only thing that's going to work here are um, the numbers negative 12 and positive 1, because negative 12 times positive 1 gives you negative 12, and negative 12 plus 1 gives you negative 11. So now we're not done, so we slid, we factored, now we're going to divide by 6. After you divide, you have to reduce. So 1 over 6 doesn't reduce, um, so that means we're going to end up sliding that to the front, so this would actually become 6n, or swinging it, so 6n plus 1. Over here, this simplifies into n minus 2, and really it's over 1, so you could swing the 1 in front, but it, you don't really always write the one that we have there. Um, so for this, now this would be my completely factored solution. Could I write n minus 2 times 6n plus 1 instead in reverse the order? That would be fine. So we can also check our answer by doing our box or FOIL method. So we have 6n and 1, so it's a positive 1, and n and negative 2. So 6n times n gives you 6n squared. 6n times negative 2 is negative 12n. This would give you n, and 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So now when you combine your like terms, you have 6n squared negative 12n and 1n gives you minus 11n and minus 2. And this checks out because that's what we originally started with um, right up here after I changed it. So um, again, you're just following the steps. So what did we do? We slid the number to the back, multiplied, then rewrite your equation, factor, divide by the number you slid by, reduce your fraction, and then if you have something left in your denominator, swing it in front, and of course you can always check your answers.